Today we're here with Ed McGowan, Kara, our model, Aaron, this guy with the camera, Ken, my buddy, who's also a photographer, is amazing, and Rio, also the best photographer in the world. We've got together today as a big group of photographers to do a whole lot of shoots with Kara, and we've done an awesome job, and uh, we can't wait to tell you guys a little bit about what we've learned, and uh, talking about shallow depth of field today. We're shooting today a shallow depth of field in the studio, and um, Rio was cool enough to let us borrow the 85 1.2. I don't own this lens, but Rio's a baller, so he does. So we're shooting with a really shallow depth of field in the studio today, and there are a couple of important points that we've learned and stuff that we want to share with you. Um, one of the things you guys want to make sure you're doing is you really don't want lights that produce a whole lot of light. Um, for instance, what we're doing is we're shooting right now at 2.5. Um, we don't want our lights to put out a whole lot of light, so we've actually lowered the lights to the minimum power. Um, we have a 50 inch softbox here, which is huge. It also creates like a very large diffuse light, which comes across more natural looking, especially if you guys are going to be using a shallow depth of field. People are going to be out of focus. It's just going to produce like a natural softer look. We've got a strip box right above Kara as well, and this is going to be her hair light. So this is just basically wrapping her completely in light, and both of these are lowered all the way to the lowest power if possible. Now, another thing, not every camera offers this, but the Canon 5D Mark II and Rio, the 5D Mark III does as well? Yeah. Let you put the low, low ISO? Yes. Okay, cool. So if your camera does support that, um, you can actually bring your ISO down to like 50. And in this case, this is what we've done, which lets even less light into the camera, meaning you can lower your aperture even smaller, and um, it's just not going to let as much light into the camera, and it's going to allow you to have a more shallow depth field. And then something that Ed was talking about earlier is using like a, a neutral density filter. You can also put that in front of your lens too and shoot at a lower density or a lower <laughs> aperture because it's going to make things a little bit blurrier. So there are a lot of tricks that you can use to get less light into the camera. And that's really the trick. When you're in a studio like this, you want to shoot uh, the least amount of possible light. So we're, we're just going to rock with that song. You ready to shoot? Today's been fun. You need to get home soon, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, what we're going to do, there's an, actually an apple box here because I'm not like 10 feet tall, so I'm going to stand on this thing and we're going to kind of look down at Kara and she's going to just do exactly what you're doing right now. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to take pictures of Kara kind of looking down. So we've got this huge light source here and then kind of a backlight and um, you guys can watch me work with the model too. Alright, you ready to rock? Cool. So if you want to just um, put your right shoulder in front of your leg there, perfect. And look down. Gorgeous. And then keep your head down and just back up um, with just your eyes, back up towards me. Perfect. Head down a little bit more and kind of look off to the direction where Rio is. Perfect. And then kind of slouch in a little bit more as well. This is looking great. So oftentimes what I'll do is like halfway through, like I'm looking through the shots to kind of like see what I like and what I don't like, and that will help me further direct a model as well. Can we really bring the shoulders in? I'm going to sit back just a little bit. There we go. That's perfect. And kind of like look straight down towards my hand here. That's awesome. Cool. We got some awesome shots. You're so amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so one thing that um, I always be sure to do, uh, always show the model some shots so they know what they're doing. And that'll help. Usually I'll show like during the middle of the shoot so you can kind of like, they'll see what they're doing and they can adjust that as well. Um, the other thing is, I don't know if you guys heard, but I was re- um, I was refocusing in between every shot and then recomposing. So I'd focus on her eye and then recompose. Focus on her eye and recompose. I, that's a personal habit. I don't like changing my AF point. Some people like having their AF point off. Of the, I just always keep mine in the middle. But I do refocus between every single shot because when you're shooting at such a large, shallow depth of field, I really don't want you know like her forehead to be in focus and her eye out of focus. So that helps with that as well. So what do you think? We did something awesome. You're amazing. Bam. Guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching Floor. And if you have any other questions about shooting shallow depth of field in the studio, hit us up in the comment box below. Say to the camera, I'll phone you later. I'll phone you later. Beautiful. <laughs>
<laughs> the dance battle. <laughs> the dance battle. <laughs>